Welcome back to Yakuza 0, playing as Goro Majima this time. Please help me. What are you staring at? Get out of my face or you'll need crutches to make it back home. Obviously intervene. Come up with that one by yourself, chucklehead. Chucklehead, that's that's a new insult. I've never heard of that one before. Well, well, asking for it, huh? <laughs> Stupid assholes. Now you'll see the true power of Majima. Oh god, he just fell. Oh no! Oh no, yes! I mean, yes, yes! Oh yes! Make me some money, please! Let's go! Ow! From 30,000 to uh, almost 200k, I'll take it. We're sorry. Can we go now, please? Thank you. It ain't much, but please take these. You got a slightly buttered you brunch? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what on earth is that? Is it equipment? It's not equipment. What the hell is it? Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh... Valuables. No, this is my pager. This hallowed branch was taken from a thousand-year-old sacred tree and can be used to craft equipment? There is crafting in this game? I want to have a look at the, uh, at the town now that we're here because this is a new place and um, I would like to explore a little bit. Casino. We got... Uh, what on earth is this? Uh, I have no idea what this is. It's not marked on my map. Oh, it is. Outdoor mall. We got a karaoke bar, which I'm terrible at. Enjoy erotic videos here. Mm. A mahjong parlor, which I will never ever play. Try your luck at gambling. Oh yeah, that's the casino. And uh, arcade. Man, so many things. I think our first stop should be um, the closest grocery store because we're gonna have to buy some food for a uh, future. And, oh shit! Bikers! Is this your uh, bike by any chance? <laughs> Well, you said you're a biker. Oh my god, what is this? What am I using? Long, long man! I will need a lot more money than this to um, upgrade my abilities. Is there a shop nearby? The closest to me is... Oh, this is a temple. Buy and sell various items. Le Marche Chotembori. Imported brands. I want to go here. Uh, we'll take a uh, uh, right. Well, no, that, that, that doesn't look right. Or does it? Yeah, we'll take a right. I think I'm gonna like playing Majima a lot more than I'm, <laughs> I am playing Kiryu. I'm gonna say that right now. This guy is a blast. Nope. Now we have some cash to um, buy some stupid things. Oh no, no more pocket tissues. This go for 50 yen. 
So selling them wouldn't make me a lot of money anyway, but I have like how many? Like 10 on my other character? Legendary drink. No, no, no. Let's get some uh, squid yakisoba. Those um, do the trick. I'll get like uh, six of them. No, 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 I'm, I'm out of here, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, th thank you, thank you, I mean, you're welcome, you're welcome, I'm trying to get out. Are the thugs still outside the shop? Oh, they're gone, okay. Yes, hey, uh, I'll be back later. Remember the name, I'm uh, Majima. Oh, it's this guy again. Do we even have any CP? Gotta go fast, dash for longer, recover more quickly. Sure. I got 14. When did I get 14? Money magnet, yes. Better value for your money when giving agents extra funds. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds good. We got uh, two more. Card watcher, get the card watcher accessory. Yes. Let's equip that bad boy. I should buy him some gear too. It's me, Bob Autonomia Zero. Guess what I have for you? <laughs> I've no idea what these things are. To change your outfit, use the phone in your hideout. It only works in Premium Adventure. And if you have the dragon, I've, I, I told you, I have no idea what this, what all these things mean. So I cannot go here and change my clothes. No. It has to be uh, at the freaking phone thingy. Oh no, don't. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I, I have to. Yes. You paid 100,000. And you got some. Quality iron. I hear right. vibrations. Money bags. Jump. Hey, 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 cut. Hey, catch. And I love Majima. I love him already. Oh, we're still doing this. Okay. Now I'm satisfied. See you later, assholes. We got more money than we started that fight with. What? Oh, it's the bling, the big bling. So, let me see here. We got a taxi and we have the phone. I was trying to see if I can change my clothes. Buckle up, kid, cause I'm taking you to see the finest ladies this town's got to offer. My treat. You mean it? Uh, uh, I always wanted to try Odyssey. I hear the chicks there are ridiculously hot. Yeah, I've been there once. Can't say it was my scene. Really? But it's super popular, and all the magazines give it rave reviews, so why's that? Uh, well, yeah, the girls are cute, and the service they're top notch. It certainly lives up to the hype. So where did they go wrong then? It's the clientele. All the other guys there were these big shot businessmen A-listers. All men who could light their cigs with a wad of bills if they wanted. And, and the girls pick up the scent of cash like sharks. A, a couple nobodies like us go in there and we'll be drowning in our sorrows as we get passed right up. Oh, that really how it is there. Too rich for my blood. How about the crown then? That place any easier for fresh meat like me. 
Oh, the Grand's great! Fantastic, actually! That's where I was gonna suggest anyway. Let's head out. Yes, yes, go to the Grand. So this is a class act, but it's making everyone but the rich and wrinkles steer clear. If they don't get some new blood, they'll be screwed sooner or later. Which is good news for us! Alright, where's the, uh, where's the payphone? Use the item box. I don't think I can change... Yeah, there's another mode of this game. So that's where we can change our clothes. Hunting for Sao. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening over there? Yo! Don't you fight someone your own size? Dead. Get, get up! Get up! Get up! There we go. Crunch! Someone left. Ow! 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 You better not do this again. He, <laughs> he got iron gear? Okay. Some of these fights are giving me oh. weird stuff, like a... Oh, really? Crafting tools of sorts? Is this an introduction to crafting? Or they're trying to uh, introduce crafting? Because Kiryu never um, got gears or sticks or stuff like that. I don't, I don't know. Whoops! What happened to your eyes? The freaking quick time events always get me. I, I never get that right. Yeah, you, you better be sorry. Other than the thugs and the drugs and the uh, assholes in the street, I don't see uh, any special events or you know, side missions yet. Am I going in circles? What the hell? Boys? You wanna fight me? Let's go! Also, Merry Christmas! See, the more you hit them, the more dollar bees are falling off of them. I, I like that, yeah. I didn't get a prompt that time. I want to do my QTEs, let's go! Oh, they die. Oh, unfortunate. Hmm, maybe next time. Maybe we should heal a little bit. Odyssey. This is the place. Ready to make the magic happen, Majima. Let's do it. Can't just charge in and blow my cover. I just wore a pair of glasses. <laughs> Is it the eye patch? It has to be the eye patch. Ah. Oh. 
すんませんただいま満席でして少々待っていただいても構いませんでしょうか構へん待つほんますみませんそしたらこちらでお待ちくださいよろしければお飲み物もお持ちしますがああそんな息つかんでええねんのんびり待ちますわ Plus, I don't want to pay like 100,000 for a single drink. Full up, but still no turning customers away. Nice. Still, I'll probably get in quicker if I don't put a request for Nozomi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wonder where Nozomi's at. Better scope things out first. Look around the club interior, then press the X button to observe areas of interest. That table's popping. One old guy in flashy clothes, a middle-aged playboy, and a kid in rags. Gotta be entertainment biz. The director, the talent, and the young ones, a PA, or uh, some piss boy job. Three customers and only two girls. Feels off balance. The sensitivity is wild. Hmm? The table's wide open. Thought this place was booked solid. Maybe they keep a queue at the entrance even when there's space to make it seem like demand's high. The hostesses feel oddly old fashioned. Like their clothes are screaming, let's relieve the college years. It's a classic look, but I say it's straight up dated. Guess their own age probably don't get anything from it, but bet it makes the old boys' club feel right at home. The fact that all the girls got the same look means it's probably club policy, not their personal taste. A pair of 50 something guys. Designer suits, watches look Italian. Gotta be in finance, maybe real estate. Doesn't look like one's trying to impress the other, and they got a bottle on keep. Must be regulars. Judging from how hard they're talking those girls up, those guys are in pretty deep. Big fish like them are what keeps a place running for years. Takako des. Figures they wouldn't waste Nozomi on a first timer. Still, I can probably pump good intel out of this girl. Oh, Okay, what's my plan of attack here? What do I ask to get info on Zomi? Ask about Odyssey. Kyo,あまた偉いこんどんな。お前日この繁盛してるんか？まあ年末中ことまありますけど、最近はみんな強制で同伴させられてるから、その分お客さんが多いんとちゃいます？ そうやったんか。けど、そんなに必死になって同伴させるほど景気悪そうには見えへんけどな。単に意地張ってるだけですわ。意地。最近客の入りでグラウンドに負けっぱなしやさかい。今月は絶対に勝たな全員罰金とか
Ha, naruhodona. Why the fuck would she talk smack about the place she's working in? That's so unprofessional. Looks like they're really desperate to beat the grand here. Problem is, they're running out of steam. I'll bet they'd kill for some fresh clients. Okay, what's my plan of attack here? What do I ask next? Takako. Takako is the girl next to me? I wasn't paying attention to the name. うち。うちは最近好きにハマってんねん。週末はいつも好き ああ、せよ。サントさんにでもお願いしいや。ちゃんと靴下も用意しとかなあかんで。もうお客さん行けずやわ。え、もう自分で買うから。ああ、上も この店は可愛い子がぎょうさん揃っとるのう。全部で何人くらいおるんや。そう。100人くらいおるんとちゃうかな。今日は40人くらいやと思いますけど。ほんなら知らん子も多いんやろな。せやな。週に1度しか来ん
お目当ては望みやなさすがはうちとためはる店の支配人や話が早くて助かるわあんたの方は随分と回りくどいやないかこそこそ忍び込んで敵情視察それがあんたのやり方かそないなことせんでも望みに会いたきゃ呼びますせ説得でも交渉でもしたらえそないなことしてもトップのあんたがうんと言わなことは動かん俺が説得しに来たんは望みやのうてあんたや山形私を俺が見たところこの店確かに繁盛しとるが客層がおっさんに偏っとる今はそれでもええが今後もっと売り上げを伸ばそう思うなら客層を広げんことには頭打ち<笑>うちは在籍100名を超える大箱です客の好みにも幅広く応えられてんとちゃうかいやこの店のホステスはどれもおっさんが好きそうなタイプの女ばかり若い男に受ける子が絶対的に不足しとるさらに言えば今いる客層も決してよくはない金持ちのおっさんばかりのせいで高級なイメージがつきすぎてるんやたまに若い客が来ても店の雰囲気になじめずなかなか常連にはなってくれへんのとちゃうかまだある実は今オデッセイは深刻な女不足や一人でも多くの新人が欲しいちゃうか根拠はあるんやろうな俺が店に入った時満席っちゅうことで入り口でチートばかり待たされたせやけど中に入ったら空席が目についたこれは客全部を相手にできるほどのホステスが出勤してないっちゅうことやろその証拠に男3人に女2人っちゅうテーブルがあった普通はマンツーマンが基本場合によってはクレームが来てもおかしない<笑>よう見てはるなま賢いあんたのことやそんだけ言えば俺の腹は伝わったやろ<笑>なるほどこちらの事情は全てお見通しってわけやねオデッセイのナンバーワンは望みやけどその望みがおらんようになっても今の客層を支えるホステスは十分揃っとここにはホームランバッターは腐るほどおるそろそろバントのできる選手が必要な時期なんとちゃうかそれでうちの4番に対してあんたは何差し出すつもりやまずは手付けとして1000万明日にでもうちの門に届けさせてもらうわおおそれだけやない今うちで教育しとる新人若い客層を狙って育てとった連中やいわば将来の一番バッターちゅうとこがそいつらから好きなの何人でも持っていけ真島藩あんたが目つけた火賊をこっちによこすとああそうこうしそろった将来間違いなしの連中やでええんですか敵に死を送るようなもんですこっちは当面の売り上げが欲しいその代わりあんたんとこには将来の売り上げを保証する別にそっちだけが特攻する話でもないでなるほどなあんたは顔に似合わず敵作らんとうまいことやる方法を知っとるらしいこれが真島五郎のやり方っちゅうわけか交渉成立ってことでいいなええー、でしょうただあんたんとことうちはライバルや今日みたいなのはこれ限りにしてもらいましょうかこれからはうちも全力で勝ちに行かせてもらいます覚悟はええな<笑>好きにせやさてっとええー、酒飲ませてもろうたおがんじょう頼むわ<笑>勉強させてもらいましたからね今日は私のおごりっちゅうことで
空ごちそうさんほな。That was pretty pleasant, considering. It's been a hell of a day. Time to get some grub and pass the hell out. Maybe I'll hit up Southern Bori Street tonight. Always keeping an eye out for uh, instances because I want to have some fun. Let's see how uh, he deals with uh, side missions and whatnot. Oh wow, that's a nice ride. Should I get more food? Or maybe I could eat at a um, uh, restaurant or something. What is this? Sells imported brands, and this is uh, buy and sell various items. This is the only place where I can sell stuff, right? I think I have a plate in my inventory. I don't think I need that one. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Let me sell you some uh, garbage. Okay, uh, I, I sold the thing. Hold on a second. Do you have something I can equip? Black belt, iron pipe, secret wallet. It's a great place to stash cash when you get shaken down. I mean, sure. <laughs> Okay, thank you, sir. Have a lovely evening. Anything to save some money. Whenever I am in town, the sensitivity feels all right. But whenever I do certain things, like, um... In first person, or playing baseball, the sensitivity is going wild. I don't know if there's a way to fix that, or improve it. You think this is a joke, pal? What's that guy on about? Sounded pretty pissed. There's a fight going on down there. What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of ass clown goes on a raid with a big honking sword like this, you moron? Don't you got any daggers or guns? You know, normal weapons. You can't see the appeal of a Chinese broadsword. This is why I'm always hesitant to sell to you. Huh? You're making this about me? Oh, full car here for a two-bit black market front. Whole point of business is giving your clients what they want. Sounds like an art deal. This ain't something I want to get involved with. A deal only with clients I respect. If you would prove that you are worthy of my weapons, undergo my test. Oh? Test? The hell you on about now? <clears throat> you and I will spar. Defeat me and you pass. I'm getting real tired of your high and mighty talk. Fine. You wanna fight? I'll take you. See how you like your precious gun opener when I'm using it on you. Indeed. That's the point. This is a test of your proficiency with a weapon. Heh. <laughs> I ain't gotta feel sorry when you lose an arm or if I straight up end you. <laughs> Wow!
the hell are those moves with that stick? That's no martial art I've ever seen. But he's got the other dude's sword looking like a damn chopstick. Son of a bitch! You fail. Huh? Yeah, well, what do you expect giving me a shit sword like this? That stuff you got is a better weapon. It's merely a piece of lumber. The sword you hold on the other hand is a masterwork I painstakingly crafted. What? Oh, but apparently you were unfit to wield it. I would ask that you do not return to my shop again. Huh? To hell with your damn shop! I hope it burns with you in it. Rumors said you were the dealer to bid, so I went to the bother of tracking you down, and for what? You fraud! Shit, I've just been staring. Just wanna get dragged into somebody else's dirty dealing. I'm outta here. Ah, Majima. Curious meeting you here. Oh, it's you. Oh, don't spook me like that, Gramps. I was merely wandering about in search of a place where the two of us could spar uninterrupted. That's so. Well, the Riverside's occupied at the moment. A real nasty customer at that. His name is Feihu, a local arms dealer. Quite the master himself, too, so long as a weapon rests within his hands. What? You know that guy? Sayo. I knew his father for ages, back when we walked the earth. Checking in on him was half my reason for coming to Sotenbori. As long as we all here, why don't I introduce you? Hey, I, I didn't ask for any favors. Oh, don't be so stubborn. This will be good for the both of you. What do you figure? Besides, the time to sneak off has long passed. It seems Feihu has been aware of your presence from the start. What? Apologies, Komeki's son, but I do not trust this man. He has an air of danger about him. Now don't you go being stubborn on me too. Delay no longer, but put him to the test. I can tell you already this young man will most certainly pass. Say what? Why the hell do I gotta take a test? I got no business with this guy's shop. Come. Come, Majima. I saw that look on your face as you bore witness to their fight. A look of inspiration. And now, your silence speaks volumes of truth. That curiosity of yours is one of the keenest tools in your armory. Yeah. Nothing fancy enough to call inspiration. Just a few dumb thoughts rolling around. Yes. But what if they were enough to match Feihu's skill? They would be less dumb, stray thoughts, and more akin to a full-blown revelation. Whether you give that revelation life or snuff... Excuse me. Or snuff it out is your choice. Get to at least give it a try. <sighs> Listen, I've had a long ass day, and I'm trying as a dog. Let's make this quick. I assume you have no objections, Feihu. I... If you recommend him so strongly, very well. It is settled then. Now, what'll it be? The man is an arms dealer. He can procure for you most anything you might want. Uh, nah, I'm good with that beat up old bat over there. A baseball bat. <laughs> it should be quite an entertaining match. Steady now. Begin. Switch to Slagger style. You can switch to Slagger style by pressing the right trigger. Try changing the Slagger style now. Try mastering a strong defensive potential that a bat offers. When you guard using a weapon, you are less likely to be staggered by an attack. Use a bat to protect yourself against Feihu's vicious assault.
You didn't warn me that time! Rude! Use Slagger style to defeat Fei Hu and pass the test. Oh my, oh my, oh my, what, 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 what was that? <laughs> Damn, we're cracked. Is that a dog in the, oh my god, there's a dog in the doghouse. I'm in love. I certainly did not expect you to use a bot so well. You're quite the interesting fellow. Uh. Just remember using one back when I was running raids on the competition. I think I've improved since then, though. Surprised me, too. I knew you could fight, but I did not think a spare of the moment selection like that would get you far against Fei Hu. Shows what I know. So, uh, Fei Hu, right? What do you think of my bat work? I... You passed with flying colors, of course. You are precisely the sort of person my business exists to serve. Your weapon shop, you mean? That's nice of you to offer, but uh, as you've seen, I ain't really interested in the conventional stuff. <laughs> so much the better. I'm not common dealer pawning off weapons I've scavenged. Well, that's cryptic. What do you mean? Are you free at the moment? My shop is quite close. I would enjoy the chance to escort you there and explain exactly what it is we do. Yes, but I need to go to bed? It's past my bedtime? Hi. This is our shop, the Dragon and Tiger. Outwardly, a Chinese restaurant operated by myself and my wife. Yeah? This is my wife, Longhua. Mm. New customer, yes? Many happy returns. And? You said it wasn't your average weapon store. What exactly is it then? Hi. Most of the products we sell here are meticulously hand-forged by me. Bespoke arms, you might call them. Made to order, huh? So you ain't an arms dealer. You're a smith, is what you're saying. Precisely. Now, if I may, I would like to explain how it is I go about making weapons. At the Dragon and Tiger, you can enlist a host of agents to locate weapons, gear, and other equipment. They can be hired to hunt down the following three categories. Gear, recipes, and parts. Put the agent's skills to use and gather the world's most powerful weaponry and equipment at your fingertips. <clears throat> so, uh, you send these agents around the globe looking for rare materials and such? That is pretty different. Our goal is all this is to develop a robust network with armed dealers the world over. But some agents' work takes them far from civilization. So basically, you got this guy searching for treasure out in the jungle and shit? I'm all about that, actually. Indeed. Remote archaeological sites produce some of the most beautifully wrought and historically important weaponry. My shop is always on the lookout for such gems. Furthermore, customers whose contributions pass a certain level are given a special reward. Private arms lessons. Yeah? So I'm guessing that means you were holding back when we fought out there. Naturally. That was only a test. <laughs> One slippery eel. Ah, speaking of fish, I just remembered I ain't ate yet. I'm half starved to death here. You said this place is a Chinese spot by day, yeah? Give me the house special, would you? Ah, yeah. You customer for that side of business, too. You wait, I'll fix you a feast. Majima, there's a favor I would ask of you. Uh -huh. What now? I don't need to tell you to spread word of their business, but I'd also ask you to keep vigil over them. What is that? A happy couple in some kind of trouble? I cannot share the details now, but in time the shop may draw the eye of a terrible foe. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing to worry yourself over just yet. I ask only that you drop by when you think of it. Perhaps buy something. Send them out on a search. That sort of thing. 
Yeah, all right. I'm headed into the wilderness to train. Don't go letting that edge of yours dull either. Okay. Well, we had dinner. I think I'm ready to rest. I hear the bling and it's a card. There's a card. That doll girl. Hmm. What's that girl doing by herself? She lost? Yes. 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 Kotomi Asakura. Hey, Kira. Where's your mom? Are you lost? No, I'm not. No? What you standing around for all by yourself then, huh? No reason. <sighs> What's with this kid? She's doing it right not talking to strangers, but it's strangers here. They're sending her packing. Listen, don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. <sighs> okay. Oh, for the other we little scamp. Never looked like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost, and I don't make it home okay. Just hope there's no troublemakers lurking about. But I, I don't want to leave her alone. Oh no. Oh, this is the, uh, yeah, the, the, the smith. What am I gonna do with a girl? She won't talk to me. Ah, shit, you guys. Fine, let's do this. Also, I'm sorry about the blings. I forgot to um, turn off my Facebook. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, give me all your money. Wait, 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 wait. Did, did you just block my, 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 my thing? I don't think so. Like me, the slugger style. I like it quite a bit. Is the girl still here? <laughs> Have a good time. Sure, but how about the kid outside? Oh no. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I have to. What am I going for? Can I even choose? Oh. Oh no. What's with the, the, the shiny thing on my screen? I can barely see. Alright, that looks good. We got this in the bag. You're mine now? Oh no! Oh! 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 No! Oh! We're so close! That's all the way up. I think I got this. There we go. And... There. I could go for the kappa as well. Oh, 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 I, I can go for both! I can- Oh my god, we did it! We got the kappa! Mm. Yes! I need to say that I was, um, a pro. Uh, when I played that in real life. 
No, 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 don't quit. Insert coin. Again. I, I need to get that, uh, that pinky. I have made a huge mistake. <gasps> Is this actually happening? We can no! You ruined it! Oh, the top hat ruined everything. This is it. Now we got it for sure. Now we got it for sure. No! What should I go for? You could try something else. Or maybe I could go for the, the, the top hat? Get this out of the way. This is going to be an easy pick. Oh no. Did I do this in between them? Grab him by the balls! Yeah! Woo, Papa! We got the woo, Papa. Alright, I'm done. I'm afraid to play anything else in the arcade as it resets my audio settings and I hate it. Oh, but what, what is this games? I want to try everything! All the games are fun. I wish it didn't like fuck up my- Oh shit, there we go. Check it out! A little kid all by her lonesome. Yeah, seen old enough to hassle. Keep your eyes peeled, would ya? <gasps> no, fool! Grab the kid! Shake down the parents! Is it come, is it go? Pretty smart. Could be some nice cash in there. Let's do it. <sighs> Got something real nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Yo, I'm a... Huh? Oh, fucking brat. You're coming, one way or the other. <sighs> See? what I tell you? Who the hell are you? Her old man? Nobody special. Just looking out for a stranger. Huh? Stranger? Then mind your own business. Don't go getting any ideas or we'll make sure you'll regret it. Next time you ought to take my advice and get straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town. Full of scumbags. Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum. Oh, you got fancy toys too, huh? Have you met my baseball bats? Oh, oh not the ribs. Everything but the ribs. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love this move so much. <laughs> Look, we're sorry. Give me a break. Good for nothing, losers. I don't think, sir. Sir, I'm only 24, you know. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, why don't you head on home? <sighs> hey. oh, something wrong? Is your mom fighting? Uh, no. Then what's up? The doll. Huh? The red chestnut, the squirrel. Chestnut, the squirrel? You mean the Red Squirrel Prize at the UFO catcher? 
I was there a minute ago. Pfft. Yeah. You want that? Uh, yeah. I'm sure your dad buy you one if you ask nicely. What? Don't have a dad. Oh, S sorry, Scamp. Okay, I'm fine. There's still no point hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can you? It's okay. I don't need it. But it's so cute. I just like to look at it. Yeah? You're a strange kid. Alright. I gotta get going. <sighs> okay. Friendship with the doll girl. Red chestnut, the squirrel doll, huh? I have her standing out here all day, so if I grab one, maybe I'll give it to her. Let's go! I'm not ending this episode until I get the red chestnut, wh whatever the hell that is. Red chestnut. What the hell are these? Oh. Is that pink or red? Oh, it's so far in. Right there. And... Here. The red chestnut shall be mine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, we got him! First try? Is this really happening? Well, we got another chance. Uh, what should we go for? Let's try one of these uh, ugly looking lizard things. Damn, I'm so good at this. I used to be a pro back in the day. When I was a wee child. Wait, do, do we get another chance? Oh my god, I have another chance. Um, what, what do I want? Uh, let's go for the, the chicken. Yeah. I'm not getting that, not in a million years. He's too puffy. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, not today, Satan. All right, job's done. Let's hand it over to the child. Me lady. What? You're still staring at this chestnut, the squirrel doll? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. Ah, fine. Here. Wow! It's a red chestnut, the squirrel. It's adorable. Yeah? Well, it ain't exactly my thing, so why did you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. I never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Best day ever. That's so. Well, glad you like it. Now, will you get on home? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. That was way too wholesome. <laughs> Boy, the little scam's a handful. But it feels kinda nice to make her day like that. And now we're friends! I can't believe that our first friend playing as Majima is like a, a two-year-old child. <laughs> hmm, what am I gonna do? Oh, what to do? You! 
Excuse me. Huh? Um, well, the thing is... You want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it. Yes, what I'm trying to say is... Uh... Listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I... I have a favor to ask. C can you... Please be my boyfriend! <clears throat> okay. A little awkward. To what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please. Be my boyfriend, please, pretty boy. But just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean, like, you want to be a couple, go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You would be my one and only. B boyfriend, right, okay. Bucket up a step or six. What the heck's with the little lady here? Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be her man? Every girl I meet these days makes me understand them less and less. I gotta get it together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer, like, uh, don't even think you've won, little lady. I got no interest in women. Uh... Let's start as friends? What'd you say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on now, let's hear that extra syllable that says you're mine. What? I can't just expect a man to jump straight to the girlfriend step. Could it be more natural, you know? Oh, darn it. I've left out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? Pretend? Hi. Yes. You see, my father is visiting from back home and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up and I told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a... Excuse me. And has a dangerous air about him, kind of like the blade of a knife. Why would you give him so many details, and why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went. But then Dad started saying... I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am, and uh, I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. Wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody else looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? Okay. The girl's in a pickle, all right. But you want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of your life with him. Fine. You're painting yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Huh? Oh, my name is Cocoa. Please call me Cocoa chan Oh, and sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Goro Majima. I see. Then Majima-san, I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? We just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no. I, I, I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. Uh, if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should be going, like, right now. Huh? I'm getting exhausted already, and what's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to the restaurant where we'll meet with my dad over dinner. The three of us. 
We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. Uh, make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go, why don't you? Uh, bing, bang, boom. Oh no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of a man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, Goro-chan. Get a move on. Damn. I don't know what I was expecting. But here we are. Here we are. So, Goro-chan, this is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend and don't anger him. You got it. What's all this about making him angry? Your dad gets pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed and he babies me more than he should. But underneath it all, he's as good as a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. You see? So if he starts saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, Forget this guy! I'll arrange you next date! So let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelet rice I make. Okay? Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you've got it memorized? Well, you ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these things? Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going out on drives and watching movies. And you love the omelette rice I make, okay? <sighs> I'll give it my best shot. There he is! Dad! Over here! So, this is Koko-chan's dad. I like his space case of a daughter, he seems pretty buttoned up. Koko-chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Koko's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm seeing, Goro Majima-san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. So I better buckle down and get into this role-playing. No different than at the Grand, right? The first impression's key. What do I open up with? Please make my miso soup every morning! What? Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima-kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Kukua san has stood by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days in the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Majima-kun. That's right, Dad. Goro chan's not like those stereotypical men. Good. The first impression went well. Playing the respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima-kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall, yet slender, wasted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura, not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I'd figure he was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> well, they do seem to be on good terms. And her dad's a decent guy too. Stern, but decent. Oh yes, Majima-kun. Kukua may have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? 
Oh man, I think Coco mentioned that in the backstories she gave me. I'm a dentist! I'm a dentist. Oh yes, yes. That's right. And here you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Uh, not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. I get all that often, yes. Oh, Dad. You're being so rude to my Koro-chan. <sighs> I'm just glad I remember what Koro-chan told me in that hack job of backstory. Incidentally, Majima-kun? Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kokua? Oh, well, th that's, um... Uh... I didn't ask you. I asked Majima-kun. But... Tell me, Majima-kun. How did you two get to know each other? What the... It's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? That explain how I supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that won't make him more suspicious. Is <laughs> he stopped me in the street? <laughs> Koko-chan ran into me while eating toast. We sat next to each other at a movie. We happened to sit uh, next to each other at a movie theater. That's how we met. That's a movie. Come to think of it, Coco did mention that you enjoy movies. Yes, like I said, Coco chan just happened to sit next to me. That flick was a real uh, tearjerker, and I offered her my handkerchief, and um, the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Coco chan I can't believe you came up with such. I mean. <clears throat> Remember it like it was 15 minutes ago. It was so romantic. Well, what a fortuitous meeting then. I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in any places she shouldn't be. Of course not. My Koro-chan is a proper and decent man. There. I wove in Koko-chan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Majima-kun, I'm going to put it to you straight. What is about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Coco, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, why, I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, uh... That's why I need to ask, Majima-kun. What about Kokoa do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here. Guess I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him, but I told Koko-chan I'd go along with this. Gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. Probably the, uh, the omurai she makes. <laughs> I'm going with it. I'm going with it. She makes great omelette rice. I fell in love with how great the omelette rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelette rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But Majibakun, if that's all you see in my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelette rice that you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Dad! Damn it. Tapping into Coco Chan's backstory backfired. From her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who appreciates his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Uh, oh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey. Don't fall in. Awkward. Wait a sec. They're powdering her nose, it's down to just me and her old man. Damn. Awkward. Majima Kun. Y yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Eh? Her lie? What lie? I got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> You can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, why gave us away? I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father for all these years for nothing. 
And why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Hmm. Coco was uh, so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tries a stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arranged for her. You know your daughter well. I saw right through her. I lost my wife when Coco was still an infant. I raised her alone without anyone else's help. <laughs> this music again. I tried to raise her well, so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know we've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there is another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. <laughs> still, still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell you, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco-chan pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that uh, you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you that she can manage her own affairs. Like getting married. Sorry, I'm back. Hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Okochan. So, uh, listen, your dad actually knew. Machi Makun. Yes? Coco, you've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad? <laughs> I know, right? Kuro-chan's a super guy, so this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes, uh, I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. Goro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Goro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this. Thank you. You got five pieces of flora? <laughs> okay. Whatever the case, I think I'm free from Dad hounding me to meet his suitors. What a relief! That's good. Yes, well, I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Ah. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Oh, God. I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Uh. Oh, okay. Huh? Is something wrong? Majimaku, there's one last thing I need to say. Huh? Eh? What's that? Majimaku, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother of pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to put one past you. Give me too much credit now. No, no. Uh, not at all. That's why I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. Excuse me? What did you just say? I said, would you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it for a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust her future to you. Whoa, slow down. I'm having trouble believing my ears. You could start by just pretending. That's fine. 
Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. That's why I'm single. <laughs> the side missions are so dumb. This is why I love Yakuza, everyone. This is why I think this game is special, different, also super dumb, but so entertaining to play. These episodes are so long and we need to take a break, so here it is. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves. Hello there. And do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.